I'm Mickey, and I'm here to talk about Flare AI, an AI-powered design tool for staging product photo shoots digitally. So coordinating between models and photographers and photo shoot venues is quite complicated. So we're taking this really expensive and fragmented process and streamlining it into an easy to use self-serving virtual tool for 100th of the typical price. We're so far, we're a team of two um, and we're here to hire our first founding engineers. We recently raised a $5 million seed led by our sponsor tonight, actually CRV, they're wonderful partners and followed on by some of the best angels in the space, including Nat Friedman and Daniel Gross through AI Grant. So our story is that um, my co-founder and I, Antonio Tsao, we met through one of the earliest generative art communities. Um, we bonded not only through our experiences supporting AI and research teams at Tesla, Adobe, and UPenn, but also uh, over our shared thesis on design. My co-founder had actually spent a gap year at Yale building, design, building tools for design agencies in China. Meanwhile, I had serendipitously entered the space after a friend had asked me to generate marketing collateral for his dad's wine shop. I created one of the first AI-enabled design agencies. And through these experiences, um, we sort of realized a number of things. One, even though so much of image generation is zero to one, that's something that ML engineers love. It's really not an iterative process that's conducive to many brands that are trying to um, design with AI. Um, so if, for example, if you're working with Midjourney and Dolly, uh, oftentimes once you change a little bit of the text, you are generating a completely new image. Um, and it's not this process that you're able to really work with in components, which is really important for brands. Brands cannot design from scratch. Um, what we found is that brands are a combination of different visual elements, different components, they recombine in certain ways. And these components together um, make up their brand identity, which is just core to retaining users. It's extremely important, it's their first impression. So it's really important that this is preserved. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to build a tool that would help these brands basically combine AI with more control. Because what we understood is that marketers and design teams, they actually kind of know what they want. They have a layout of what they, or the photo shoots that they want in their head, but they have difficulty executing it. So Flare is gonna be the tool to bring their vision to life. And um, yeah, so there's a YouTube video embedded. Um, yeah, I was wondering if we could play it. So I'll show you how it's done. So as you can see, you can stage entire scenes on Flare. You can drag in props the same way that you would in a physical photo shoot. You can color, you can basically um, set the image theme, the color scheme, and then give it some guidance. And what we do is we build the world around your products. We can even um, replicate entire scenes um, with extreme precision. So if you want to replicate uh, you know, like that wine ad, you can do that on Flare, which, and it would be more difficult to do with state-of-the-art text-to-image models like Midjourney and Dolly. Um, oh, I can go on to the next slide. The video is a little bit long. Yeah, cool. Um, also, you know, we can dive even deeper than scene generation. Uh, we can, Sorry, it just uh, might be a little over one minute. Um, <laughs> we can dive a little bit deeper than image generation and uh, generate thousands of models to sell a single product and really leverage personalization at scale in your marketing campaigns. Um, this is another video that I have. So yeah, as you can see, you can control the pose of the models. You can basically, you can define different attributes. You can. Uh, you know, control the skin texture, the skin tone, hair texture, hair color, age of the models to really resonate uh, with, you know, core users at a personal level. Okay, we can go to the next slide, I think. Another long video. Yeah, so anything that you would need in a product photo shoot, you can find on Flare. Um, additionally, we've had insane traction so far. We have grown from zero to a million, close to a million users, I think in a few days over the course of just four to five months. 
Um, you know, right now we're at 920,000. We are generating hundreds of thousands of dollars in annualized revenue as well. Um, and this is with zero marketing expenses. We've spent no money on ads, it's all through organic growth um, and word of mouth. Now we are seeking uh, to hire for two roles in particular. We're seeking a full stack engineer to continue to build out Flare's design platform, but also to own our widget and API, which will be embedded hopefully in every single marketplace, every single shop builder, every single e-commerce platform. Um, this, this feature will have probably reached millions in the foreseeable future and also uh, change the way that people sell products. The second role that we're hiring for is an AI researcher who will build the next mid journey for branded content. Um, what we hope is that we can generate, we can train our own model uh, to bring the to define an aesthetic for product photography and really own the category. Um, I see a huge opportunity here. We have the funding to do it. We have access to compute through Nat and Daniel's Adromeda cluster. Really hopeful that we'll be the first one to crack the space. And lastly, uh, yeah, a little bit about our culture. We're a super scrappy team, extremely mission oriented. Uh, we're open minded, open hearted. We adapt really quickly to both user feedback, but also to new innovations in the space. We implement papers at lightning fast speed. And uh, yeah, we're super embedded in the AI community here in SF as well through AI Grant and AI Tinker is an event that I help run. Uh, but yeah, if you are looking for a high agency, high impact pro uh, new role, I would be so happy to speak with you. I'll be somewhere in the back um, and wearing this red jacket, so really easy to spot. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much.